What is going on everyone? We're back with another video today. Sorry I did not post Monday. Today is Monday for me. I should have made a video Sunday, but Sunday I was really tired because we got back from our trip to Baltimore. So I was really tired. Uh, I might actually post this. I think I'm going to post this as soon as it's done uploading tonight. So probably like midnight. It'll probably be up around midnight or so, guys. So it'll kind of be like today, maybe. And maybe tomorrow I'll make two videos or something. Uh, because today we were out all day and it was a mess. So. Okay, so let's get started into today's video. So today's video where, if you guys can see this big box right here. Okay, so what is inside this big box, you might ask? Well, we're going to slide it and we'll put it down here. Ooh. Just barely. Right. This is my ice fishing top uh, box. It's kind of going away. I don't know if I can still read it. This is cool. These ice fishing stuff. Okay, so first we're going to start off. What's all in here? Oh, uh, first we have a box of good stuff here. We have. Let's see, we have some depth finders down here. We have some ice bobbers. I've never used these. They came in two of my Mr. Tackle boxes I had. Um, just some little, like, all kinds of little stuff. Another grub. Depth finders. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see it. Some oop, hooks. Some of these little, like, kind of like a mousy, a red mousy with, like, a ball at the end. All kinds of stuff, but most, actually, most of this came in a mystery tackle box. Uh, but that's some of the fishing stuff right there, guys. So, now I actually have a mystery tackle box. This is two mystery tackle boxes. I just put in one box. I got, I have, uh, I have four mystery tackle boxes that I got for ice fishing this year. So, I already switched it to bass because ice is mountain stuff. Uh, but this is just, I guess we can go over some of this, because I do not, no, I don't think I went over any of the ice cream stuff. So here we have some little Mako, uh, Lucky John here. These look like the same. They came in different mystery tackle boxes. See them around, there's just some little jigs, uh, there's some mousies. Well, they kind of, or no, sorry, waxies. Some little crawfish or crayfish, just little ones. Snare spoon. I got a couple of those because they came, you know, like I said, they kind of cute. The same. I have uh, one of these sting nose, little jig type thing. Another one of those true weight jigs. Ice jigs. That's what it's called, it says, I think. Oh, Lucky John. We have some impulse little. Or we put on a jig or something. Two decent jigs. Let me get it here. Uh, this is another, looks like another little minnow type jig thing. Some more of those blue, like, uh, waxy type things. Another little jig right here. You guys can see that. There's a little jig in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Some more, oop, well I just dropped those. Um, some more grubs, another jig, and one more thing of those true weight uh, packages. But I'm gonna put this back in here and I actually dropped something. Hold on, I'll be right back and get it. All right guys, I just picked it up. Here it is, just another packet of these. You already see them right here, same thing. Uh, we're gonna throw these back in here, just like this. And uh, it's kind of gonna be like, well, tomorrow's video will be an outdoor video, which will be Wednesday for you guys, Tuesday for me. Uh, it'll be, I'm going to probably do a video on my thingy, I can't tell you. Uh, but it'll be outside, you guys, and it'll be a little bit better because this inside stuff kind of sucks. But, so let's move right on to the fishing box. Have my jigging rod. It's a... Pretty good jigging rod, bends pretty good. Pretty nice. I'm not sure 
Super Sizzle here. No, I'm not sure what kind of Sizzle. I, I got this. I bought it at like Gander Mountain when I was. I don't even know how old it was. I. It'd be a lie if I told you. Maybe eight. I'm not sure if I was that that old or if I was older. I don't know. Internet, not even mine. That's my brother's actually. Uh, ice scoop. I bought that. This ice scoop. It's a little bent here at the tip. You guys can see that. Okay, it should be like straight here. It's a little curved up because when I was smaller, I used to pick the ice. Okay, I still do, guys. I still do. But anyway, most important, guys, you should get a pair of these. We just invested in these this year. Or this was it. Yeah, this year we just invested in these ice picks. Now, I'm not going to dig into my brand new duct tape table here because uh, I'm ruining it. So, I'm going to dig into the wall behind me. Oh, right, no, I'm not going to do that because. Then uh, my mom won't be very happy. But you just ice picks right here, guys. I'll show you. Just pull them down. They. So if you fall in, it's like a little plastic cover over there. Well, if you fall in, you push them into the ice. There's a pick in there, and it like grabs a hold of it. See that? A metal pick, but the metal pick goes all the way down inside this. Thing, so. Pretty strong, guys. They are need, need, need safety anyway we have this tip up right here this is a polar it's a little bit bigger than the other these uh polar tip up right here it's a little bit more fish style it did crack right there so we just put a couple screws right in hold it in works good cracked on this side a little bit too put a screw, couple screws in there works great so that's this one. uh here's another tip up i have Polar's tip ups. I love these tip ups because they sit flat to the ground. Other than the tip ups that stand straight up tall, like this one right here. So it's either kind of like one or the other with these. It's easier to have either one or the other. And I prefer these tip ups because you have some tip ups that are like this sitting up in here, like down in the hole, you know. Or like actually this one's just a little pretty low this flag, but some of the other tip ups the flags will stick up to here Well, if your flag sticks up to here and this tip up that you're using right here See that's about oh, level of the ground right there. We'll say this one goes down here when this one's up This one right here looks like it's up. So it's kind of like one of the other guys you can I mean we use it all different kinds of tip ups, you know, newer ones, older ones. Uh it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I just prefer the newer ones. But uh this I mean I don't okay, I gotta say I don't really prefer the newer ones. What because some of the newer ones are those wooden ones. I just it's not that I don't prefer them because we use them for the longest time. I just started using these a couple I don't know, maybe Three years ago, uh, I don't. Know, I just like them a little bit more. I'm not sure. Uh, I have this polar polar tip up right here. Same thing as the other one. Pickle must have broke me off, or maybe a stump. I think it was actually a stump last time I was fishing. So I don't have a hook on that. Uh, here's another pull uh, polar tip up here. This one's more. Of the, this one right here says the original on it because the original ones are black. You guys can see. Uh, so that leaves me one, two, three, four, five tip ups. And you're allowed to have five lines in the water. So you can have four tip ups and a jigging rod, or you can have five tip ups. It doesn't matter. Uh, here's my two new ones I got this year. These are uh, brand new, the original Polar tip ups right here. Really nice flags on these. I used them already maybe two or three times. Really nice stand up straight, good. I do like them. I have two of those. I'll just show you guys right here. I just have another one here. Same thing, brand new, two of them. One thing I do not like about these as much is because their spools on um, these particular ones are like an aluminum type thing. I do not like that because they bend. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell. It. No, probably not. It's bent a little bit, so it kind of wobbles around. Other than these plastic ones don't. These plastic ones do not bend. So, next I have this little 
cup thing, use any cup, and this is just what we used last time. Uh, not sponsored by Gold Peak HT, but we use this to scoop water to cool our minnows down. So we do not shock them. We got almost a full spool of ice fishing line. I have another full spool of ice fishing line. I have a stringer because I kept so many big fish. Another depth finder in here. A pair of ice cleats. This is the original scoop we actually used to get water and stuff. I don't even know why we have this one in here. But anyway. Two things of hot hands. And my jig box. For jigging it. Hold on. Look, I don't have that much in here, but you see these are all these are all like more like a bluegill bass type jig up in here. Uh I guess look. Uh these are bass right here, these two. This right here is more of a bass. And yeah, that's about it. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to drop a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one.